OH, that's our base. You notice the base is clear. This next one right here is your acid. So acid's going to be on the right, base is going to be on the left. Got it? I'm going to take two blank beakers. I'm not going to be extremely accurate here. I just want you to see what actually happens. On the first beaker, on your left, I'm going to add universal indicator. See that green liquid? It's just a different indicator, very similar to what we did yesterday. The one on the other side, I'm going to add phenylalanine. You don't need much of it. This is not an acid or a base. It doesn't actually um, get used up in the reaction, okay? All it does is make a color change. So notice that it doesn't really matter what order you do. And this is one of your questions on your test. You can do an acid to a base or a base to an acid. It doesn't really matter. We're going to do NaOH in the first speaker that's in green. I'm going to add approximately 5 milliliters. So, over here, 5 milliliters of NaOH will go in the green. You notice the color change, right? That's me. So the color change, because I had a base, that's me, you can go outside. So, when I have my color change, you notice I started green and it turned into a blue, it's purple, right? That's because the base has a color change with it. As I add my acid to it, watch the color change. It's a very similar lab to yesterday. You notice here I'm adding my base first. You can actually see it getting clearer. You see a little reddish? It's a little hard to see. You see that red there? That's because the acid's combining with your base. Also swirling it around. And I got to a yellow. When it's completely yellow, it's orange. That means I added the exact same amount of acid to it. I'm pretty close to it. And now you see it's like an orange red, right? If I get all the way to red, that means I added too much acid. So this one actually determines pH is in between acids and bases, right? Okay. The next one we're going to do is the phenylalanine. This is a very similar lab from before, from yesterday. Instead of vinegar, I'm using citric acid. So this one, I'll put the citric acid in first. Again, about five milliliters. These are both one molar, by the way. <clears throat> I calculated it out this morning. So here's our citric acid, five milliliters approximately of one molar. I'm going to add my base to the acid. You notice right now it's clear? This is the same experiment that we saw yesterday, right? As I add more and more base to it, it neutralizes it. Citric acid and vinegar, if it's the same molarity, it's actually the exact same calculations. You just figure out the amount of volume used until it stays pinkish purple. Again, I'm doing it very quickly just for demonstration here, but looks like we're really close to hitting the neutralization point. That's where you have the same amount of acid and base. The middle part's not quite getting it. Here. And it looks like we just hit it. So I got it within about two, three drops worth. It's pretty accurate. All right. Good.